some quick hits on the Broncos game, okay? Um, Ronnie Hillman, his performance, uh, did it convince you that he should be the featured back, or should C.J. Anderson maintain the starting running back job? Or And where was Jawan Thompson if he was healthy? Well, he wasn't healthy. I don't think he was healthy. I think if I had been in charge, I'd have put uh, Capri Bibbs in there. You're dying taken, to get him on the active roster, aren't you? I want to see. We're not seeing enough production out of the three guys. And one has only been in for two or three plays the entire season and got dumped on the second play in Detroit the other night. Thompson. Uh, I would I would start Ronnie Freeman. He is not a guy that you're going to get. I'm not telling anybody anything. You're not going to get 25 carries out of him game. C.J. Anderson is durable enough when he's healthy to go 25 to 28 times. Ronnie Freeman's not. I'm sorry. Tell me. And he's just not Ronnie Fre Freeman. <laughs> Ronnie Hillman is not durable enough to make it through 25 carries. He's only done it once in his career, and they wore him down to the point where he wasn't any good the rest of the season, if you go back a couple of years. It's still hard to believe that he's one of the youngest players still in the league. <laughs> I mean, he came in at such a young age. I thought he was more effective at finding holes yesterday. It was on three or four occasions. He was not good at the goal line. That's not. That's what you have Jawan Thompson for. So Jawan Thompson was not healthy enough to play in the game. That should be evident to anybody. They tried Ronnie Hillman twice. They had to go for it on fourth down. I want to come back to that play at some point. I thought Gary Kubiak had a great truthful answer to why they went for it on fourth down. But I'd start Ronnie Hillman. I would try and maybe get 10 carries out of him in the first half. I would try and maybe use him a little bit in the third quarter and save him for five or six situations. I'd, I'd, I'd try and push C.J. Anderson into saying, kid, you actually want to make money in this league? You want to be a player in this league? You're not a 1,000-yard runner anymore. You're a guy that actually can be sitting on the bench full-time again. I'd be calling Chicago. I, I'm just, I, I'm well, not convinced. Every day. Well, I'm not convinced <laughs> C.J. Anderson is going to be able to stay healthy. He hasn't been able to. He, I don't like what I saw from him yesterday. They said he was healthy. Again, he looked like he was running through mud. Um, Ronnie Hillman is not a 15 to 20 carry a guy, uh, a game guy. He won't last. And Jawan Thompson, I don't know. He played two plays and got hurt. So I'm making a call somewhere. I'm bringing in another running back. And there are plenty of running backs on the beach right now. But I keep hearing out of Chicago hot and heavy rumors oh, well, give me one, that they're willing Monte. to dump Matt Forte. I mean, I, I've looked in the last couple of weeks for for uh, players that are on the beach. And well, I, give I, me some of the names you saw. Uh, Pierre. Uh, Thomas. Pierre Thomas yeah. of the Saints. I would I would bring him in and take a look at him. I, I mentioned to you, and people laugh, Felix Jones. Later the I Dallas don't laugh Cowboys. at Felix Jones. There were times where he showed flashes of brilliance with the Cowboys. What's wrong with bringing them in for Luxy on a Tuesday? Yeah, I'm and, with and you. Those well, are a couple of guys that people are familiar with. They're a bunch of uh, uh, ragtags that are around the league that are out. Uh, Ahmad Bradshaw played effectively with the Colts last year, broke a fibula, I think. He did have an injury at the end of the year. And, and the thought was the Colts were going to sign him, that they were either going to sign him or Monte Ball. Bring back Monte Ball. Why he's not? He's floating around. Yeah, and he's healthy, and he knows the system. But I'm bringing in somebody because I don't like what I'm seeing, which brings me to the offensive line.